Jaime, I remember when Kevin Love came to the Heat last year, into the season, and he took his first charge. Yeah. The whole bench erupted. Yeah. It was a rite of passage. Yeah. It's Heat culture. Mm -hmm. Tell me some of the signposts that you've seen in terms of what Heat, co heat culture is about that you may had, maybe you had not seen before. Um, I mean, I think it's everything that I thought it was going to be. Um, heat culture is something that lives in basketball. Um, you know, it, it, it's what, what represents toughness and willing to take charge, doing the little things that are going to help your team win. And that's what it's really all about. The experience you have in the summer league is somewhat akin to what you experienced in 2019 in, with Mexico and Peru, yeah. in that it's a new team, new coach, new scheme, new players, yeah. no practice time, uh -huh. and you're supposed to win. And you're supposed to compete. Exactly. How do you compare that experience to this one? And what about this experience that, that may be unique? Um, I mean, I think it's just at the highest level. You know, the, the NBA is the highest level that you can get in when it comes to basketball. Um, but like I said, I've had experience in this, in this transition period. Um, so going forward, I just try to stay positive. I just try to soak up all the information, um, try to get close with the guys. I think the guys and the team camaraderie is something that's super important having good chemistry with each and every one of those guys is extremely important. So when I go into these situations, I just try to get to know the guys and get the coaches and figure out what we're looking for and try to execute it in the game. But part of that is what the team uses the summer league is let's see how these combinations work. Yeah. Let's see what these plays work. When it comes to your involvement in those schemes and actions and plays, mm -hmm. what are they looking for from you? Um, they're, looking, they're looking for me a lot. They want me to make plays. They want me to also set screens. Uh, sometimes I have the ball in my hand, sometimes, you know, I don't. And it's really just whatever I can do to help the team win. Um, they're putting me in positions that they feel like they can make me succeed and get the most out of my ability. And, you know, I'm trusting, I'm trusting their process and their judgment. And, you know, I'm just trying to do what I can to help the team win. You uh, told us that in high school you were playing against NBA players in L.A. Uh -huh. uh, one of them must have been Paul George. Yeah. And he invited you into his podcast with Draymond Green. This is royalty. Yeah. They spoke highly of you. What was that like, and how did that call come? Um, it came. Uh, my my agent and him, they're really, you know, they're they're good connected. We have the same agency, so it was pretty easy to get connected with him. Um, and I like I I've seen him a lot working out, and we worked out at the same facility. Um, so it was just a matter of time before I got on. We were talking about getting my, me on, have a little segment. Um, and Draymond Green, he was another guy I got to work out with a bunch during my time at UCLA. Um, so just to be in the presence of those guys, two all-time greats when it comes to basketball. Um, you can't get any better than that. And they gave me some great advice. But when they say nice things about you, you're yeah. sitting there, what, what's your reaction? I, I don't even know. Um, it's really surreal to get compliments from two elite company or two elite guys when it comes to basketball. Um, you know, you say you take it and, and you run with it. You know, you take it, appreciate it. But, you know, eventually I'm going to have to play them and we're competitors. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to try to take their advice. And, you know, when it gets to see play, try to go at them. Finally, I know it's early, it's been a whirlwind, but do you have any restaurant recommendations for us in Southern Florida? Um, yes, but I forget the names. <laughs> I forget the name. There's this one Greek spot or Mediterranean spot, which was incredible. And once I, I'll get you the name. I, I forget, but I'm going to get you that name. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.